right there. Oh! Let me get this in, folks, and then I'm going to talk about fishing in the wind. And actually, right now, I wished I was actually in the wind, but it's flat calm, so I got to fish in the calm water. He's not big, but he's a bass, and he's a great start to the day. We'll get him back in. What I want to talk about is fishing in windy conditions, and it's so interesting. When you watch good anglers, uh, maybe a pro bass tournament or a pro walleye tournament, and, and you watch the anglers, they fish. The best anglers go to the windy side of the lake. And the funny thing is, uh, recreational anglers are usually looking for calm water. And when you ask yourself who does best, it's usually the folks that are fishing in the wind. That's what we're going to talk about today. Now, why is fishing on the windy side of the lake? Why do you look for the wind? A lot of basic reasons, and they're all tied into the food chain. Number one, when you've got windy conditions, so the windy side of the lake, it's blowing all that free-flowing uh, plankton, uh, zooplankton, uh, phytoplankton, the plants and the animals that the, that the minnows eat, it's blowing it all to the windy side of the lake. And where you find the minnows, where you find the bait fish, that's where you're going to find the walleyes, uh, the smallmouth bass, the muskies, the pike, everything else is following the wind. Now, another thing, when you have wind blowing in on a windy bank or a windy point or a windy uh, uh, structure on shore or wherever, what you get is current. And there's nothing that fish like more than current. Uh, many of these fish are riverine species, fish like walleyes, always looking for the current. Muskies, they're always looking for current as well. And anytime I can find a current situation, it's so much better whenever you're fishing. Now, the other thing that the wind does, if I'm fishing for walleyes, what the wind does, it breaks up the surface tension. And when it breaks up the surface tension, it actually makes it darker underneath the surface. So when it's darker under there, the fish will come shallower, they feel a lot more comfortable, uh, they get a lot more aggressive, and they start feeding. And so the windy side of the lake or the windy side of a structure is always, on average, your best conditions. Now, one more thing about wind. And I'll guarantee this year, uh, if you time it, look for the days, look for a period of time when you've got six, seven, eight, nine, ten days that are ultra hot and humid. Ultra hot and humid. Every day gets hotter and hotter than the day before. And then one of those days, all of a sudden after a week or two, the weatherman's going to say it's going to storm tonight. If you can get out, in the wind just before that storm hits just as the clouds come in still be safe but you're looking uh, just before the lightning hits uh, the wind hits it's the best fishing of the year and it'll only happen three or four times this summer now is always fishing in the wind the best the answer believe it or not is no there are times you do not want to go uh, to the windy side of the lake and fish in the wind. When are those times? It's amazing, but the wind and how fish react to it is not unlike how humans do. So when the weather's cold, early in the spring, uh, and it's super, super cold, you don't want to go and fish the windy side of the lake because then what the wind's doing is blowing all that cold water against that windy shore and it actually makes it colder and the fish will pull out. So when it's cold, uh, early in the season, maybe even snowing or a cold, cold rain, that is one time you do not want to fish on the windy side of the lake. Very same thing in the fall for the very same reasons. If, again, cold wind, uh, cold rain, cold snow, look for calm, protected areas. You don't want all that cold, cold water blowing up on the area that you're fishing. But in summer, it's the very opposite. 
the wind is an air conditioner and that's uh, fish are looking for air conditioners this time of year now wind in the summer good on all lakes uh, all lakes rivers reservoirs but the absolute best is when the the lake is super super clear the clearer the water uh, the better the influence of the wind in the summertime I was out the other day actually on a clear water lake uh, and I'm fishing I was fishing for walleyes and smallmouth I had the wind actually coming waves coming right over the front of the boat it was way too windy to film this oh there's another fish it was a way too windy to uh, to film a little smallmouth. It was way too windy to film, but man, the fish were going crazy. And that's the conditions that you actually like. I, I loved it. The waves were coming over the front. I was catching walleyes and smallmouth like crazy. And so, in the summertime, the wind is your best friend. When you go fishing, don't try to avoid it. Look for the windy side of the lake. Look for the windy structures. Look for the windy points. And when you do that, you're going to discover that Bob Dylan had it right when he said, the answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing in the wind. The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind.